Let's get over to our man, Mr. Elliot Wallenbach. Elliot is the Senior Vice President of Institutional uh, ET and Institutional ETF Strategist for Direction. And, of course, we trade these Direction shares each and every day. And with this bull run that's been going, <laughs> it is pretty incredible. There's no doubt about that. Elliot, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, Tom, thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here once again. Yeah, and, you know, the bottom line is that Sherwin-Williams, I mean, they must be really happy because the last time I had you on, I don't think they sold any red paint, just all green paint, Elliot. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I absolutely love I'm it. I'm telling you. Now, let's let's talk about, you know, of course, Direction, folks, okay, has the bull, the bear, leveraged, unleveraged, okay? We know that, uh, which is just a great thing, that Direction was way ahead of it, and the single stock ETFs also. And I want to talk a little bit about Tesla, because when you look at Tesla, you know, you have the singles meaning the one-to-one, -one, and you have the two-to-one. And I'm looking at this market cap, Elliot, and it's pretty, now I'm not, I'm not talking about the, the market cap of, you know, uh, Tesla itself. I'm talking about the market cap of your ETF. I mean, they have just piled into that. It's, I think it's 2 point, was it 2.1 or 2 point, yeah, it's 2.1 billion right now. You got market cap inside the TSLL. I mean, that's, yep. that's pretty incredible, man. You talk about nice liquidity, right? That you can get into Tesla for $16 and, with a double. And, 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 and folks, this is a trading vehicle, okay? Every night they, you know, reprice themselves, okay? Uh, but I'm sure Direction in itself, they're pretty happy that they come out with these pretty early, huh? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yep. No, like you said, uh, you know, these are, you know, short term tactical trading tools. But, you know, Tesla has really, uh, you know, in our uh, TSLL, which is the uh, you know, 2x uh, bull. Uh, yes. Off, uh, Tesla. We've seen a lot of activity. We've seen it all year. But, you know, uh, especially with you know, Tesla, the stock itself turning positive last week, where it was at one point down, you know, almost 40% for the year. Again, Tesla stock, uh, that is. And uh, now it's recovered, uh, you know, uh, recently after they posted, uh, you know, more delivers than expected. And we've seen uh, a lot of trading into our uh, bull product. And, um, you know, what we actually also like to see is last week with that pretty strong run up in Tesla, we saw actually some outflows in our bull product, and that's traders taking pro uh, profits. Okay. Um, and inflows into the the short product um, TSLS, which is a single inverse. Um, so you know it's kind of the contrarian view that uh, you know when we see inflows in, uh, and also uh, traders taking profits out. Um, you know when uh, something's run up, uh, you know pretty well in a in a week span. And, and what Ellie is talking about here, folks, which is amazing, in 10 trading days, and inside the TSL, I'll remember, it's, you know, two for one leverage, okay? But the bottom line is that it, it, that's up, yeah, 97%. <laughs> uh, which, which, hey, listen, man, we, we know it. And it looks to me like Tesla's actually going to 300, so we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, now, that's, that's not even talking about the aspect of uh, what happens, folks, whether you're trading NVIDIA, whether you're trading Microsoft. And uh, let's talk about Microsoft a little, because Microsoft, I mean, you talk about on a tear, right? And, of course, on Microsoft, you got the METU and the METD. METU, folks, is the, is the bull. METD is the bear. Uh, you know, that also, uh, you know, has, has some action going on. There's no doubt about it, man. Yes, no, definitely. Yeah, across all the single stock uh, ETFs that we provide, uh, we have all uh, magnificent seven names, including, uh, you know, you mentioned um, Microsoft, MSFU. Uh, um, and uh, and we've just seen a, a really a strong pickup in trading in these. I mean, you have uh, Alphabet, uh, Apple, Meta, uh, all hit all time highs last week. Uh, you know, the magnificent seven is, is definitely been on a tear this week. Uh, and, you know, this month and year, uh, and we've seen definitely a pickup in trading, uh, short-term trading in the, you know, the 2X products where traders are looking to take a short, uh, you know, 2X view on yes. one of the names. 
And uh, yes, they're they're very powerful products when you use correctly. Yeah, you know, and you know what's so cool in general, and folks in general, these products they've had for a couple of years now. So it's they were ahead of the whole deal, which you know, you're picking out some great stocks, man, to, on a longer term basis, not just you know on a short term basis, which is pretty cool. So now let's let's go to be here now, be here now. We got CPI tomorrow morning. <laughs> And we know the CPI is going to move some, uh, you know, whether, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. But what are you thinking about the CPI? Yeah, no, it's definitely uh, it's going to be an important number uh, tomorrow and report. Uh, you know, we we saw Powell testimony uh, to Congress uh, yesterday and today. Yes. And just saying how uh, data dependent uh, they're they're still you know sticking to that rhetoric, um, you know, around uh, the potential to cut rates. And uh, so definitely, you know, from his rhetoric from uh, this past week and, uh, you know, that uh, that report coming out, um, they, they want to see, uh, you know, strengthening confidence that inflation is, is kind of coming down. So that's going to be definitely a, a very important uh, report coming out tomorrow. And, um, you know, the ways to trade that is especially around the rate space, uh, we yes. do have a 20 plus year treasury bull and bear 3X ETFs. So right. TMF is a bull, TMV is a bear. Uh, and that is a way to uh, short term trading around, um, you know, any of these, uh, you know, uh, Fed meetings, uh, Powell uh, testimony to con uh, Congress this week, and especially around any, you uh, you know, uh, reports on inflation that will will move, uh, you know, the Treasury, uh, you know, curve. So uh, definitely uh, will be a big report tomorrow, um, you know, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of action coming into, uh, you know, both those ETFs. Yeah, and they, they're great. Yeah, great. I trade those a lot because when it does happen, folks, OK, outside of like reports like this, they don't move as much, but you can seem to get a better handle on how they trend. You know, that, that's me personally. I'm not, don't, I don't want to put words in all these traders' mouths, okay? But the, the difference there is pretty cool outside of the fact when we get these reports in, because this thing can spike either way in about two seconds, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, there's no doubt about that. So, when we take a look, and now going forward, earnings, we're coming right into earnings again, okay? So, coming into earnings again, this is where, folks, you can go back to the single ETFs. Okay, because the bottom line is that we know that's what's moving, and depending where they go, that's what's going to be happening with with earnings. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to let's let's jump to gold because um, you know what has happened, which is really strange. There hasn't been the ETF flow, not just on direction on everyone going in there. So how how is that? Uh, how is it going with the nugget and with the dust? Where, where are we at with those? Yeah, we uh, we've seen gold, uh, you know, gold itself rallying to, uh, today. Um, yes. You know, on commentary and also. Gold. Yeah. Well, listen, Elliot. I'm sorry that that thing that was that was a quick nine minutes, man. Yeah. I, I always appreciate the education, man. You have a great one, safe one. We'll hold on tight for that uh, CPI tomorrow morning, and we look forward to speaking to you again. No, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thanks Have so much, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.